Monk Yunro here. Welcome to the Forbidden Rice Podcast. Back when we were hunter-gatherers, we spent a lot of time lying around. Agriculture changed that. We began to work hard, thinking of the future, harvesting our grains, putting them away, drying them, storing them, getting ready for the long winter. The Industrial Revolution took that whole thing into another level because now we were doing things for someone else's benefit and the idea that most pernicious, strange trade, that satanic deal of the modern era, trading time for money, came about. Now in the information age, not only do we have people who want things from us and who are telling us what is important to do for their benefit but not for ours, but we also have a deluge of media messages telling us what we need to buy with money we don't have and what we need to do to make that money all for the benefit of someone else. But this is spun in such a way that we believe Life is better now, it's richer now, we have more options now. More options do not necessarily make a better life. And neither does the process of, of trading time for money. What comes with meditation and with practice and with deeper understanding of what it means to be a human being on this planet is the sense that time is limited, we are mortal, and that discernment about how we spend time is a key element in having a happy and healthy life. Please notice I did not use the word productive life because that word is too closely aligned with our corporate masters and their agendas. What does productive mean? What are you producing? Are you happy? Do you like what you do? Do you like the way your life is unfolding? Do you like the way you spend your time? Then you're productive. If productive means something else, like you giving something to everybody else for their benefit, without you really knowing that or choosing it, not from compassion, but from obligation or social programming, then we have a problem. Then your trade of time for money and your idea of what is important and what time should be used for may need reassessment. So, in addition to thinking of what is your priority set and how you spend your time, are you healthy? Are you taking care of your family? <clears throat> are you taking care of yourself and your own mental, physical, and emotional needs? Do you have shelter? Do you have company? Do you have love in your life? And in, instead of thinking and focusing on those things as primal, you may be thinking you need a Maserati or a big screen TV. Not. Part of the problem with the digital revolution and social media is that in addition to wasting time on activities, pursuits, and things which benefit others but not you, you are also spending your time with people who do not care about you and about whom you do not really care. You are spending time on relationships that are not fruitful, deep, meaningful, or even real. So, for this week's plan, this week's meditation, this week's thought experiment. Ask yourself, are there things, activities, and assumptions in your life? And are there people in your life who are all time wasters? If those things and people and activities are wasting your time, get rid of them. Free yourself. Unshackle yourself. Use your time wisely. It is limited. Thanks for joining me for this latest installment of the Forbidden Rice podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. For more, to go deeper into my world, my books, my speaking, my teaching, and to sign up for my newsletter, visit monkyunro.com.